Well, hello everybody, this is K5 here and I'm back again. This time I went out and got some more Siku. Yeah, as you can see in front of you, we've got this beautiful three pack. Absolutely awesome, gorgeous cars in there. Definitely going to be opening that on this video, so uh, stay tuned for that little moment. Meanwhile, if you notice that yellow car is the 300 SL, well, the more astute amongst you viewers out there will possibly remember at the beginning of last month I captured this from the Coventry Car Museum. Oh yeah, <laughs> I'm not going to say that again. This is the uh, 1950s 300 SL. It was like 1956 or something crazy. Look at that. Fantastic, really nice piece. A sticker on the on the the turntable of fame. While I uh, open up that little box of goodies, it's times like this when you could do with an electric uh, turntable, isn't it? Not very happy with that that door there on the other side. Very gnarly looking. I'm going to leave it down for now. But uh, there we go. Right, let's open this lot up. Unfortunately, this hasn't got uh, any uh, sellotape holding it down, which is nice. It's the first time I've opened it. I've been dying to open it all day. Wow, look, there they are. Now, these are held down with uh, elastic bands and all sorts of goodies, so it's, uh, let's get in there. Oh, it does look like uh, it does seem like I'm going to have to uh, spend a bit of time. I think. Wow. Let's cut them off. I think. Oh yeah. Ha. Here we go. All right. So first out the box is the. Porsche Carrera GT. See, these Seekers are all made in China nowadays. They used to be made in Germany, of course. But that's a lovely piece, isn't it? As you can see behind you, I've got my uh, my, my Veyron <laughs> collection ready and waiting for some new entries. Let's have a look. Does this uh, door open? Yes, it does. A little bit stiff about this side. Well, this one's nice and uh, nice and ready to go. Interesting, but the paint on that is just luscious. Have a look at that. You can see that. That is awesome. Let's move in for the kill. There we go. Look at that. Lovely. That's better. That's lovely. Love the wheels on that. These things have all got plastic uh, inserts on the headlamps, and also looks like uh, plastic inserts for the tail lamps as well. That on that uh, piece on the back, back there is plastic as well. Metal roof. Lovely, uh, lovely doors. Beautiful. Let's have a look at the front there. And the old Siku number plate. Let's have a... Yeah, Siku 168. I guess that coincides with the bottom. Well, maybe not. Beautiful. Okay, I'll leave you with that for a second and let's uh, open up the next one. Now, the next one is the Bugatti. It's in black and blue. Got to be a little bit careful with these. Yeah, there we go. It's good to see that the packaging is very, very good on these. So uh, 
anyone's after one of these uh, boxes of threes, let me know. Now here's the here's the Veyron. Fantastic again. Plastic inserts on the headlamps. Lovely detail there on the nose cone. Got a little Bugatti logo on there. Silver engine. Mm. Love it. I love the black paint on these cars. There we go. Have a look inside. Very stiff on the driver's side and Getting in okay on the passenger side. But the paint on these ones is really nice. These are definitely uh, five pound models. If, they, if you came across these singly, you would be looking at five pound all day. Lovely. Beautiful. Right, and finally, the reason why I bought this whole pack was because I just could not find a single on this bird at all. But finally, I have it. This beautiful rally stripe down the center. Plastic inserts on, the, on those little dual rear lamps. Can we see that there? Are we getting the detail on the rear? There it is, AMG, that is sweet, 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 sweet. <laughs> Very nice, look at those plastic inserts again on the headlamps at the front. Now that is a super, super car. Wow, that is just awesome. Let's have a check on the doors. That looks nice. Oh yeah. <laughs> How good is that? Of course I will be looking for a singles version of this car. As well. But that is probably the nicest uh, version of this car I've seen, I think I've seen available in uh, the smaller scales. 155 scale of course. Classic uh, Siku scale. Doesn't say anything on the bottom. But if you look in their catalogue, they list it under the, un under the 155 scale. So let's put it up against uh, its daddy. Just uh, his daddy also has the jeweled headlamps as well. Gull wing doors there. I love the up and overs on those gull wings. Fantastic. Nice detailing on the rear of that old SA. Nice. And there's the new one coming round. I think for the last minute there, before I go, I stick all these cars up on the uh, the table of turning. We can have a good old look at them. And I'll leave you with the music. And this is K5. Saying thanks for watching my dodgy videos. Because I'll tell you what, there's no editing. It's just a lot of messing about here. <laughs> this is K5 saying ta ta for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll be back at some point in the near future. Bye.